Welcome back to The Dangin, guys. On today's episode, I think I found the perfect projector. Almost. Stay tuned. On today's episode, we got our hands on the next BenQ gaming projector, the X1300i. Stick around and I'll unbox this new gaming projector, and then after that we'll take it for a test drive. Cool, we'll start the unboxing of this video, uh, but first just a quick overview. This is a 1080p gaming projector. Um, it does uh, use the 2.0B technology in order to process a signal of um, 1080p and games that are capable of handling 120 hertz refresh rate. So uh, the latency also is 8.3 milliseconds on this particular projector, which is pretty nice. So uh, the basic outline, what, what it kind of shows on the box here, it's an LED projector, so I expect that this would be something that turns on relatively fast. It's not like your typical DLP with a bulb. Um, it has an auto color calibration um, and the uh, surround sound feature. So it's got an actual speaker built in if you don't necessarily have a surround sound system hooked up to it. Um, and it also is capable of doing HDR. So let's check it out. All right, so let's take a look at what's in the box. Right up top, we have the uh, BenQ HDMI Media Streamer, the QS01. If you saw my last video with the TK850i, you know that this is their plug-and-play HDMI stick that does um, all the media streaming right from the projector. So it actually has a, a third HDMI output um, with a USB plug-in that keeps it powered and it just goes right inside the projector. Then you got the uh, BenQ, like the first remote. This is for the media streamer. It also has all of the options available to control the media stick, the media player, as well as the projector. Uh, you just have to go through a few more settings to get to certain things. But this is a really nice remote. I really like it on the TK850i. You got your manuals and your brochure, quick start guide. white power cable and the unit itself. Let's get this out on the floor here and see. Stuff's packaged pretty well. It looks like it's in the stat anti-static and foam wrapping. Pretty big projector, if you ask me. Oh yeah, look at this thing. Real nice looking. Upside down right now, but let's take a look at it here. How about that? Huge. You know, it's not as wide as the TK850i, uh, but it's definitely twice the height. So whatever they did with the width, they just added it to the height in this one. Um, on the, I like the orange trim. Kind of has that gaming look to it. Looks like a uh, real nice matte finish. And then the front's a nice gloss black. Take a look at the back here. Got all your different connections. HDMI, both of them are 2.2. 12 volt trigger, USB, optical, RS-232, and then even your audio out. So if you're gonna run external speakers, you can hook it right into the projector. Cooling fan side. 
along with your, zo your zoom and your focus, all your different buttons, menu, power, eco, eco mode, your toggles, and then your source button. Pretty cool. Take a look at the underside here. Looks like you've got your uh, mounting points, one, two, three, and then you have your risers if you're going to set it on the ground. Looks like there's two of them. Keep it square and then a, a rear back pad there. This projector does not have lens shift, um, so those of you that do need that, just keep in mind you might have to rearrange your mounting position uh, just to get this as a square image on your screen um, and not have to use a lot of keystoning. Uh, not usually a big deal if you're just looking to do some solid you know, gaming close by with this near you. You can probably put it on a bookcase or something simple to get that uh, image just how you need it. And a little bit of keystone isn't going to kill you. This does also have a game maestro mode uh, which gives you the opportunity to put it in like a first person shooter mode something that's really fast twitch. Uh, it also has like your RPG mode and then just your eco mode as well. So lots of cool different options with this particular projector. Can't wait to give it a test drive so Stay tuned for the next part of this video where I'm going to plug it in and check it out in the dungeon. Thanks for watching. Like I said on today's episode, I believe I found the perfect projector. Now, my needs might be a little bit different than everybody else's, but for me, this is so far the favorite unit that I have used. So, without further ado, I introduce to you the BenQ X1300. It's a gaming projector, so unlike the projector you watched me install in my video earlier, the TK850i, which is a, in my opinion, 4K movie specific projector, the BenQ X1300i is something that I like to use based on my lifestyle. The majority of things that I do in the dungeon is game and watch movies, which is probably what most people do. But gaming on a 123 inch screen is by far my favorite thing to do. So the BenQ X1300i is a perfect choice for my media room. In this video, I'm going to show you a few examples of what it looks like compared to the 4K projector, give you an example of the latency that you might experience between the both of them, and kind of explain the pros and cons. All right, cool. So the first thing I want to show you on the X1300i is the boot up time. So right here, I've got my iPhone, I got the stopwatch set. I'm going to hit the button right on the side here. And uh, as soon as I do that, I'm going to also hit the uh, start. So let's do these simultaneously here. All right, with the PS5 running, let's see how quick it can boot up to the uh, PS5 home screen. About six seconds to the BenQ symbol. There you go. About 17 or 18 seconds. Pretty quick. I'd say uh, that is a huge benefit if you're just looking to jump online real quick, start your game, and get the projector going. So a lot more efficient than heating up the bulb, waiting for the image to really appear at full color. So as you can see on the screen itself, nice and bright image. I have uh, most of the lights on in the dungeon right now. Uh, I would say about 75% of the lights are on, including some ambient light coming from the bathroom there. I don't have the workout area lights on, but or the theater lights on. 
So I'm going to go ahead and turn those on real quick. Hey Google, turn on theater lights. So using an ALR screen um, doesn't really wash the image out too much. Uh, it would be a little bit hard to game in this full brightness down here, but all in all, not too bad, pretty bright projector. So let's get into some of the uh, gaming examples. All right, guys, so the first test I want to show you is the latency on the PS5 controller. So just so you have an idea, when I press the uh, joystick to the right, you can see how fast it moves. So pretty much instant response. Now we're sitting about 12, 13 feet away. So this is good for obviously any type of fast paced gaming. So what, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to jump in and put in um, Call of Duty. Let's go over to weapons take a look at this gun you hit R3 you can review it see how quick the response is alright so here's the gun click down pretty fast. Really, I don't notice any lag personally. I've played this game quite a few times on this projector. It does a great job. Obviously for first person shooters, you really need something like that. Alright, so now let's put the projector itself into first person mode. So, on the BenQ remote, go to picture, game mode, FPS, and fast mode is on. You can switch to RPG, you can switch to SPG, and you can set it to off. So let's set it to first person shooter mode, and we'll see what happens from there. You can do like a little details adjustment where it increases the brightness. We'll leave that off. And then there's a fast mode and an, uh, and you can set it to on or off. So I'm going to set it to off. Let's take a look at what that does. Once again, looking at the controller. Doesn't seem to be much latency at all. So let's switch fast mode to on, see if it does anything different. Might be a little bit quicker, actually. Anyway. Now let's check it with the TK850 projector. And I can show you the differences in latency. Put them side by side. So once again, real quick, nice and smooth. All right, now we're booting up the TK850i. This is a lamp-based projector, so keep in mind the boot up screen is gonna take about a minute. Based on my last video, I'll post that in the description below. And here's the remote. just slightly slower. You can really tell when I go hard left, hard right, up, down. Still really good, nice and bright. Image is good. 
there isn't an FPS mode or anything like that, but just gives you a good example of the latency differences. Pretty cool. Okay, so now I have both projectors running at the same time. You can kind of tell because they overlap just a tad. So with the PS controller, we're going to compare. I don't know if you can see the ghost, the ghosting effect as well. I'll try and zoom in, but you can you can ch tell what the latency is like between the two projectors just with that. So here's the TK. There's both. And here's the BenQ X1300i. It's kind of the best example I had to give you guys a good showing side by side. All right, next thing I'm doing is bo uh, booting up Cold War. Now, the reason I wanted to show you this game in particular was because it has a 120 hertz refresh rate, and the BenQ X1300i is capable of doing that. Um, right now, I have both projectors on, so what I'm going to do is get into the game here and show you guys the differences. Now, you can see a lot of ghosting in this in particular. So now what I want to do is go into the projector menu of the BenQ 1300. And go down to information. And you'll see right now it's set at 2160 at 60 hertz. So it's, it's receiving a 4K signal and it's outputting it to 60 hertz. Now, if you can see the menu in the middle, we'll check out the info on the TK850i. Same thing, resolution 2160, 60 hertz. So let's get out of both of these menus. Now, I'm going to turn off the 1300. Now, take a look at the weapons the same way we did last time. This is the uh, TK850i. Image looks really good. It's in 4K, right? So 4K 60. Not too bad. Latency is a little bit lagged. You can see when I hold it down. It takes a second. Or 0 0.40 seconds, anyway. Now, take a look at this home screen. This is in 60 hertz. I'll put these side by side so you can compare and see the difference between the 60 and the 120 hertz. Just gives you a good idea. All right, now let's switch over to the other projector. Now you can see it's changed the resolution to 1920 by 1080, so 1080p picture at 120 hertz. The BenQ X1300i has 8.3 milliseconds of input lag. Now I'm not sure if you can notice the 120 hertz here the best on the camera, but I sure can. Nice and smooth. The picture quality is really not much different. If you get up close to the projector screen, you can see some pixelating because it's 
1080p, but in my opinion it looks just as good and you get that 120 hertz. So let's go in and show you the latency. I mean, it's instant. You can totally notice it. I don't think anybody would have a problem gaming on this with a first person shooter game and still be competitive. I'm sure people will argue with me that one millisecond is the best, but projectors have come a long way and I would have to say that this is a very, very good projector for gaming. All right, guys, so for this movie example, sorry, I get in the way of the projector here, we're gonna use the IMAX Ultra HD demo disc. So I'm gonna throw some of these uh, pieces of content under the screen and we'll compare the X1300i to the BenQ TK850 so you can see the difference. Now remember, the X1300i is a 1080p projector. It handles a 4K signal and it can run games and things like that at 120 hertz. But that 4K pixel shifting that the TK850i can do does make the image uh, quality a little bit better, a little bit more detailed and fine. So let's take a look at the differences. Why don't we start with Bumblebee? Once again, this is the X1300i. All right, now let's take a look at the TK850i's image quality. All right, here's Bumblebee on the TK850i. Right. There. What the hell? 
All right, guys, well, thanks for joining me today on the Danger. I hope you got a good glimpse of what the TK850i's 4K picture is like compared to one of my new favorite projectors here, the X1300i. Honestly, fantastic projector. Looks like my, the dog's going crazy. Say hi, Ruby. Um, Fantastic projector. Is it the perfect projector? To me, almost. I mean, it's that close. So what am I looking for uh, from that projector in the future? In this case, 4K. If they can do the HDMI 2.1 with a uh, 4K 120 hertz output, I think I would buy that projector instantly. Hopefully BenQ can come out with something soon enough um, I mean, I really think the image of the X1300i looks great. So keep in mind, uh, these things keep evolving and these projectors get better and better. So even if you're a gamer, you can game on your projector screen right now. You might have to sacrifice a tad bit of detail just switching to 1080p. But all in all, it's a beautiful projector. Uh, I really want to mount it to my ceiling, so we're going to see if I can uh, get around to somehow running dual projectors uh, in the meantime. But thanks for joining me here on The Danger. Thanks for checking out this quick review, and I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe below, and I'm going to post some more videos uh, each week. So take care, everybody. No